Chair recognizes the Minority Leader of the House, Leader Abrams, for an invite resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It is my honor for the fourth year in a row to uh, bring forward a resolution to recognize April as Genocide Prevention and Awareness Month. Uh, the goal of the Genocide Prevention and Awareness Month is to educate the public about the history of previous and contemporary genocides, which unfortunately often start in the month of April. Uh, I have with me today Melanie Nelkin, who is the chair of the Coalition to Prevent Genocide, and I'm going to allow her to introduce uh, the rest of the guests here today. Thank you, Leader Abrams, Speaker Ralston. Um, my name is Melanie Nelkin, and I represent a genocide and atrocities prevention cohort in Georgia. I'm humbly joined today by community leaders who have firsthand ties to memories of genocide and mass atrocities. Please welcome Mari Avedizian of the Georgia Armenian Assembly, Degal Dang of the Sudanese, South Sudanese community, Mamie Diane of American Jewish Committee's Access Young Leadership, and Dove Wilker, the Executive Director of American Jewish Committee Atlanta. My fellow Georgians, memory shapes us and hopefully teaches us. Zahor is the Hebrew word meaning remember, but memory must be tethered to a responsibility to advocate, educate, and speak out. The crimes of genocide and other mass atrocities do, ha do not happen one day in a vacuum. These crimes can begin with incite incitement and hate speech, and they can also be stopped by local communities and their leadership through education. Recently, the US has seen an unprecedented wave of threats and vandalism against both Jewish and Muslim communities. Unfortunately, Atlanta, Georgia, has not been immune. In fact, I've been told that this morning the Marcus Jewish Community Center received yet another bomb threat. Hate crimes that target any group is a threat to all Georgians, and the public response is crucial in prevention because words matter, condemnations matter, and we cannot be bystanders to events that history and memory has taught us to stand up against. Decades after the Ukrainian genocide, Armenia, Rwanda, and the Holocaust, Darfur continues into its 13th year. What have we learned? Yes, April in Georgia is about Zahor and advocacy. Through deeds of commemoration and education, we will also teach the next generation not to forget that prevention is possible. Again, thank you for your attention and consideration of H.R. 320, recognizing Genocide Prevention and Awareness Month in Georgia.